The Endpoints Assembly Service Type enables you to wire up .NET assemblies in K2.5 by exposing their public static methods as smart object methods that can be made available to smart forms and workflows. This service type is only available to K2.5 instances where you have control over your K2 server and can install assemblies to the K2 host server bin folder. This capability is helpful when you have an external data source that you want to integrate with K2.5 and there are no APIs available other than using a DLL library. It's also nice if you have a library of functions that you would like to make available to K2. For example, maybe you have a special encryption library you need to use with your data. Keep in mind that this is also going to require using serialization and deserialization to access the data that comes in from the data source through the DLL. In this lesson, we will see how to point K2 to a DLL and create a service instance. From there, we will see how to create a simple smart object with a method from the assembly. I have a DLL ready that provides some string encryption methods just as a simple example. To begin, you will need to copy your assembly file into K2's installation directory on your K2.5 server. On my K2 server, that will be the program files x86, K2 host server bin folder, as you can see here. From here, let's go into the K2 management site where we will create a service instance using the endpoints assembly service type. I'm in the service instances menu option and I'll add a new instance. I'll give it a meaningful name and select the endpoints assembly service type. Now, there are two authentication modes you can use with this service broker. That is impersonate or service account. When using service account, the assembly is always executed as the K2 service account, whereas impersonate will run the assembly as the current user. I'll just select impersonate for now. Since my file lives in the K2 host server bin folder, I'll enter that full path with file name into the assembly full path key field. I'll leave the default values set for the rest of these configuration options. You can read more about what each of these are for in the documentation for this endpoint assembly service type. I'll click OK. And now we have a service instance using a DLL assembly. Let's jump over to K2 Designer, where I'll create a new smart object and name it Encryption Service. I'll select Advanced Smart Object for this option and click Create. Notice in the Service Object Explorer, there is now a service object available for this service instance. If we open up the Custom Assembly Class Objects folder, you can see all the methods that are available from the DLL file. I'll drag over the Encrypt method for demonstration. Notice it has two inputs. I'll click Create All to create the Smart Object Property Mappings. Of course, K2 will create a parameter for the text to encrypt input as it is a required input for this method down in the DLL file. The string property will be the output for this method. So if we want to encrypt a string, we pass it in through text to encrypt and the DLL will push out the encrypted string through the string property. From here, we can add more methods if desired, rename this method from read to something like encrypt string and deploy it out to our K2 environment for use in smart forms and workflows.